Hi, I'm an art student and I would like to share with you what I discovered on my journey, namely the quick sketch method. Now what even is the quick sketch method? It's quite simple really, you sketch something quickly. However, this is easier said than done. Uh, you will struggle at first, but you'll get good at it and you will see an improvement in your speed. The faster you produce a drawing, the faster you can judge and improve upon it. Now, how to do a quick sketch? First, you must select something that you want to learn how to draw faster and with more efficiency. Whether it is people, cars, limbs, animals, faces, tardigrades. When you've selected your subject, gather reference images. There are many images on the internet. Download the ones you find interesting in relationship to your subject. Put them in a folder and if you do this enough, you'll have like me, 10,000 images in your library on any given subject you're trying to get good at. I will put a link uh, to download free sample packs from Noah Bradley, which are amazing. Also, I say free, uh, but um, they might cost your PC uh, if you have the attention span of a zoomer like me. Uh, you will attempt to download all those images at once and uh, find that your GPU is currently at the crispy temperature of 11,000 degrees Celsius. One of the most useful exercises experienced artists always harp on about is drawing the human figure. Now, it just so happens that I have a friend who's a developer. Uh, I've asked him to create a software to streamline the process. I present to you LookArt, truly a name that only a programmer could come up with, who probably doesn't shower, definitely has no friends, and lives only off of Indian programming tutorials and GitHub likes. According to this, C++ is general purpose, high level, compiler based and object oriented programming language. Never mind that. Now that you're in the program, you should just choose the time that you wish uh, each drawing to take. Uh, so it can be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, 360 seconds, I don't know. Now, uh, you cannot put in minutes, uh, you have to put in the exact seconds. So first off, don't try to go over 360 seconds uh, when you're starting off. You must first learn how to draw quickly and with line economy. And then look, you can learn like how to shade, render and texture. Now, once you have those images downloaded in your folder, uh, you must choose the folder in the app, uh, then put the amount of time in each lap and you can start improving by drawing from reference. Now let's talk about examples and process and what not to do. So here I am using the software and as you can see uh, I put on a two minute timer which is 120 seconds. On that time frame I focus on counter and construction. By that I mean that you don't have the time to catch all the nuances in an image so what do you actually focus on? Well, basic shapes and movement. You don't really draw a torso, you draw an oval that can be interpreted as a torso. Uh, that goes the same for all the other body parts. Uh, this is a crucial skill for artists uh, as you need to explore many ideas in a short time and if you are sketching, don't go into the details. What counts is the following. When you zoom out, does it read like a human figure? Another important point is negative space and contour lines. This is important to see if you interpreted the photo correctly. So don't look at the shapes that are only on the body. Look around it. What gaps can you spot? Uh, checking those gaps is one of the best uh, self-correction methods you can use. And yes, most of the time you are on your own in this art journey. Most artists uh, don't give the time of day to new artists trying something. Uh, that is why I recommend joining communities and forums. I myself have a Discord server for various purposes. If you wish to ask questions to me or to the wonderful developer of this uh, app, uh, go to the description and join the Discord. So lastly, the lengthiest ones uh, focus more on form, rendering and shading. Uh, if you go over 30 minutes, you enter study territory. Um, in that case, you are going to try and to understand something on a very detailed level. 
often related to rendering. I recommend these for experienced artists uh, and don't do studies just because you've been told to do so. Um, the subject of your study should be important to you right now. That way your brain uh, will be sure to remember what you learn. Uh, yes, I am looking at the schooling system uh, to say that most of what you learn and cram before an exam uh, will be forgotten. Uh, because it will never be used in any real way. Now, for example, you need to learn how to render gold for one of your illustrations. So you try to study how your gold interacts with light and how to render it. This knocks down two glorious birds with one stone. Not only do you learn how gold interacts with light and how to render that effect, you can also finish that illustration you've been struggling with, all thanks to studies. At the end of the day, you should remember to have fun with drawing. It's really about the long game and not the immediate benefits. So try not to burn yourself out with endless studies and quick sketches. Uh, this should be a regular practice meant to complement your art, not something you should spam all the time. I usually use gesture to warm myself up for a drawing. I see a clear difference between me not doing gesture before an illustration and me having done a couple of quick sketches. This also helps with blank page syndrome. If you don't know what to draw and you feel stressed, you should try to do some gesture drawing. It's basically autopilot. Uh, you don't ask questions about what to draw. You have some pictures and you try to capture them on a page. And boom, before you know it, you are in the mood for a sketch and then maybe an illustration. It's all about momentum. It's hard to start doing something, but once you get the gears turning, it's just a matter of staying focused and on top. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Link in the description for the resources I have provided in this video, including the free app. Bye.